Okay, hello friends. How's everybody doing out there? I have a uh, crazy thing up here. I am trying for the first time some water mixable oil paint. Yes, water and oil can mix. Don't ask me the science behind it, but it does work. And, well, we're getting ready to see if it works. Who knows? It may actually not work with me. Make sure this is in here tonight. There we go. All right. Just that light a little bit. Make sure that's okay. Don't want it to be too much. There we go. A little shining on there. So we're going to try it out. We'll try it out. Hope everybody's okay out there. We're getting snow here in Tennessee. We didn't get as much as I wanted. But a little bit. A little bit of snow. So, essentially, this is water mixable oil paint. Here's a tube of it. Or I kind of squeezed it wrong there. Squeezed, some people might say. But, um, this is Prussian blue. But it's water mixable oil color. A lot of people are starting to go to this. You don't have to have any solvent. You can, if you need to, you could use some linseed oil with it. But, of course, you can also, because that's, that's oil, right? You can also use there's some water instead of solvent so there's no worry about all the chemicals and things that you're smelling and touching and breathing so uh, again i don't know how safe the paint is let's see well we'll say that most of the stuff is better for you than traditional oil painting because there's no solvents involved all right so i'm going to take some uh, whoop, oh, wrong color i got some crimson out and some blue i'm not really going to paint a fancy painting I'm going to just kind of see if this works or not I want some crimson in here well and what I did is I put a little bit of water and a little bit of the titanium white and I made up a uh, well essentially a liquid white magic white um, you know whatever you want to call it mixture and put it up here on the canvas and I'm going to do just a basic little mountain scene and see if I can make the paint break this paint, surprisingly, and like I said, it's the first time I've used it, it's very thick. So, that may actually be really nice. I want a little crimson in the sky. There we go. And there's a little touch of blue in there because I almost, I, I did touch blue first. And I just bring that up. I want a lot of crimson tonight. A lot of crimson. I'm trying out another new mic, so if it works better, tell me. Because that would be very helpful if it does, right? You guys can hear me better. Especially when I'm, I've got a lapel mic on right now. <laughs> I've got fancy mics. I've got one of the Blue Yetis and all that good stuff. But I can't hook it up to my phone. I'm still trying to figure out how to get that thing hooked up to my phone and use it. Because I don't want to buy a camera just yet. Because I think this camera is pretty good. As far as the uh, visual quality. The audio quality. Eh, not too, not too good. All right, I'm gonna grab a little more. And I want a little bit of that reflected in some water somewhere down in here. And we're gonna try to use minimal colors. You know I like to do that anyway if you've ever watched me. Again, don't watch me and think that I know everything about this water mixed with oil paint because I don't, I barely know anything. I know I don't have to have paint thinner and that's a good thing. Are the paints toxic, you know, for you? Don't eat them, of course. Are they better for you? Because I don't know. But getting rid of paint thinner is a good thing. I don't use a lot of paint thinner in my classes when I teach. Um, even if I like I teach a Bob Ross class or something like that, I don't use a lot of paint thinner. I try to just wipe paint off and, and then maybe use a little bit at the end for tree branches or something along those lines. But we're going to see how this works. All right, so I'm going to grab some Prussian Blue. Colors are pretty much the same. It's it's uh, Windsor and Newton paint, so it's you know other other brands make it too. Now my sky might have dried a little bit, so I might have to work on that. Blend that in a little bit. Throw a little little Prussian blue up here. I'm gonna make this pretty extreme just so it shows up. And again, this is just a run through on this paint. What does it feel like? What does it act like? How does it act? 
What is it, you know, what's its likes and dislikes, all that good stuff. This is like a first date. So we'll see if it'll see if it pans out. Grab a little more and then finish out the bottom of the canvas here with some blue. A lot of people are using this though. This so, all um, Andy was using it this evening. I saw a really nice painting there. Um, Yvette uses it. So a lot of people are using this. Uh, Justin uh, did a video, I think, on it. Or maybe a class. I can't remember. I'm losing track of things. All right. The only thing I don't have is a lot of brushes because I don't want to ruin my oil painting brushes, my traditional oil painting brushes, by putting water in them. All right. Well, we'll try that. And we'll just use our, our liquid white brush here and blend a little bit. Or I shouldn't say liquid white, should I? Or our, our base coat brush. Not really liquid white. Just want a little blending, blending up into there. And then maybe just kind of set that water down a little bit too. Well, it looks kind of like Superman there on the screen. Blue and red. I guess that's okay. Now I'm going to stick with the kind of traditional palette knife here that we've grown accustomed to. I'm going to make a little color out of crimson and blue. Make a lavender color. More crimson will make it um, redder. More blue in it will still be more blue. But I'm trying to go for a purpley. Let's say a grape. Mix as well. Good thing here is when I'm done, I can just wipe my palette off with some water. Scrape all the paint up and wipe my palette off. Oh my, where do we want to put this mountain? Oh, right there. Oh, well, so far, it doesn't act any different to me. The base coat's a little different. We'll make a tiny mountain. Have some big trees. We'll see if we can paint a mountain and some trees. That's all we need for this one tonight. The only thing I don't know about is how to how it's going to blend. So like, it'll be more like traditional oils, or am I going to, have to put a lot of water up here? Am I going to, have to put some oil to make this kind of blend like we're we're used to with the liquid white on there? I guess let's see. Well, I'll scrape some of that off. Sorry for that noise. That's we're using that glass palette. I know it's annoying. I like the palette, but it can get noisy when I set a brush down on it. Change those shapes any way we want. Maybe we'll do like Mount Hood or something here. Let's just take this and, and see if we can pull. Oh, yeah, it pulls out pretty good. Pulling it down a little bit. I don't want to bring it down too far. I want to stay above the midpoint with this one. Yeah, if you're watching, this is not going to be a fancy painting. I've got, I'm really excited about that forest scene that I put the little acrylic block in on. I'm, I'm still just kind of looking at it and figuring out where I want to go with it. And then I'll do a video on that one. Probably this weekend. We'll see what we think. But I think it's... Well, by Georgia, that, that, that worked fine. Nothing wrong with that, guys. Try to set that brush down a little easier. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saved a little bit of the crimson in my sky. All right, now comes uh, the the defining moment here. We're going to wipe the wipe this off. Just using a baby wipe. I wouldn't usually use a baby wipe to wipe my palette knife off with. Until the end, maybe. Get some titanium white. Still all the same colors I traditionally use. Just a little different format. And it's still oil paint, so... I'm going to cut me a little paint and get me a little roll paint like I would normally do over here. Put a little red in this tonight. A little bit of red. Since there's red in the sky, we'll put a little red in the, in the white. Let's see here, how's this going to work? Well, 
And it looks like it's going to work just fine. Don't ask me why I did the the <laughs> I didn't do the back mountain first. But that knife just kind of slide. No pressure. When I have a mountain that kind of expands out like this or the you know, you've got phew, these big swooping arches or not arches but dips here on sides and there's no little divots and and hills and things. I'm just careful to make sure and I can go slow, remember, we're not trying to do a TV show here or anything. And make sure to cover up that top edge. It looks weird if you don't. Shadows don't typically work like that. Alright, let's just move the paint around here just barely again. Still, you, still the same process. There's, I don't even know why I need to do this. I should just use it and you probably wouldn't know a difference. I wouldn't be smelling that paint thinner all the time, though. Even though I use Gamsol, which is, I mean, kind of known in the industry to be the safest. Still not safe. None of it is. Now, I'm careful with it. I'm not going to get rid of my oil paints completely. <laughs> but if there's an alternative and I can make it work, maybe skipping around with that sometimes is nice. I want to put just a little bit more up there, right there. See how you can just go back? No pressure though. This knife is just super, super light touching my hand. We need a shadow color. We'll get a little blue and a little white. We can use that purple color even. Actually, I want a little more blue in it. That's too much. There. Again, nothing fancy going on here on the palette. It's just me mixing up. I'm using Prussian blue, crimson, and white. That's it. So any mixture you see is out of those colors. Hand shaking a little bit. I'm nervous. Yeah. I like that color. It's got a little bit of that purple in it. I may mess with that area. I don't care for that little shadowy area. Oh, goodness. Look up here. Sometimes I'll turn the knife like this. There's probably going to be a bad glare there for you guys. Just to make sure, again, that I'm covering up that top edge. And then you can work however you want. The little knife might have been nice tonight. I don't even think I have one anymore. This kind of Graze along here. Well, that's not looking horrible. I mean, it's not a masterpiece by any means. It's, you know, it's just kind of a standard mountain. Not a fancy mountain. We could do fancy mountains. This one, this one's not that. There. And let's uh, let's put a little bit behind here. I don't know if it's just the paint because it's really thick. It's thicker than some paint I have. It's just not wanting to kind of come off the knife as normal as I'm used to. I don't know. Normal is not the right word. It's got a different feel there. Not a bad feel. Different. Like in those areas, this wasn't coming off the way I wanted it to. So we can just easily go right back over it. Well, I've made worse mountains. This is the area I don't like. It's too much shadow. And there. Oh, shoot. Let's just combine those two. Like that. Yeah, I like that better. And maybe just a tiny bit more right there. Okay, and just go a little bit behind there. I'm going to take up funds to get Bram a uh, small knife. That would have came in handy. A little bit more right there. Okay, since we're just kind of doing this to see if this works, I think that's good enough. It's not 
not up to my standards for a mountain, but it'll do for tonight. Let's blend it out and see if this works. I'll hold this here, make sure we don't get too much noise. Well, I mean, it seemed to work okay. I don't know why I'm, I'm amazed, because it, again, it's oil paint. A little bit there. I may sneak up in the sky here in a minute and put a couple clouds. I don't know. Let's take it this way. So the first the first painting I did with this stuff, it had to be a mountain, right? That's what I like to do. I'd paint mountains all day. Just pull a little bit. And I got a little bit too far now. We'll just kind of get rid of it. Set it right in there. See a couple of things we could do. A little bit of blue, a little bit of white. A little bit more blue. The paint's really firm. A little bit of that in there. A little crimson. If we wanted to, put some little... tree line area there, maybe a little ridge there, of trees, that picked up well, that's fine, getting a little white there and there, maybe, maybe there's another one right there, not as much. Pop it up. Again, I'm not trying to teach this tonight. You've seen me do similar painting, so it's not a not a new one. I'm going to take a little bit of water, just a touch, just like a tiny touch, and put in this liquid, put in this white, this titanium white. It's super thick. Maybe just touch a red too. I'm using an old fan brush. I hope it works. This guy needs something in it. I'm just going to loosely throw in some clouds there. You see how loose that was? Now my problem is here I don't have two brushes and one of them's kind of dark and the other one's darker. So I am not even going to blend these. So I'm going to leave them very loose, very very much like that. Sorry, I know that was loud. Especially since the mic's this side now. Maybe there's another one. Just kind of meandering all up in here. I don't know. It, the sky's kind of flat. Let's move a little bit of that around. Do I have anything here to blend with? Just a little blending would be nice. I got my finger. How about that? Let's just leave it. I like that sky better even just kind of not even blending it. Doesn't you don't always have to blend something. Most of the time you probably should, but let's put a stronger edge on that one right there. Maybe just kind of push up and spin that brush. Get a stronger edge right there. Again, don't really watch me for clouds right now. I'm just throwing crazy stuff up there. Let's see, it doesn't look great, but that will do. That will do. Now, since we're using two colors, I'm going to go right to mostly blue. A little white, maybe a touch of crimson. It's always good to throw some other colors in there. And kind of like those, I want a foothill. It kind of just kind of comes all the way in here. Just tapping it on. This is nothing you haven't seen anybody else do. This is mainly me trying to see if this will work for me. Trying something new. Experimentation. There. 
that. I'm actually gonna, I'm actually gonna cut right through this one. Bring that. Sorry, it's gonna make a little noise. Bring that about right there. Grab some more color. Fill this in just a little bit more right in here. You're like that's a looking a mess. Actually, it doesn't look horrible. I'm trying to be fast, guys. Put a little more crimson there, maybe. I'm gonna highlight this so it doesn't really matter. As long as I wanted it dark, and then we'll put a little brighter highlight on it. Ooh, something like that's fine. There. Now, here comes the challenge. I'm down to. I'm gonna use that. Let's see if I can wipe this brush off. I need to try to pull that down for a little bit of reflection, right? And I do notice that this paint dries a little. Or it seemed to tack up. I don't know. It doesn't blend as easily. And it could be I don't have a great mixture. Again, I just kind of winged it. For the, like the medium. I didn't, I could have used linseed oil probably. Pull that down a little bit. Pull this down a little bit. Go across it a little bit. Well, that'll work. That will work. That will work there. Don't need a ton of it. Now, we're going to use a little water. I've got to put a little more titanium white out here. We're going to use a little water and thin it down just a little bit. We have to because this stuff is super thick. I don't know if it's just my tubes or if this is just how this paint is. This was, this was traditional paint that I was using for like a Bob Ross style painting. I would almost have to put a little thinner in it. That's how that's how thick it is. Even for that mountain, it was almost too much. I'm just using a little water. That's going to be my my thinner, and I'm going to get a touch of the, a touch of the purple. I think. And throw in some white. So it'll make a light, a very super light lavender. A baby light lavender. And I want to put a little highlight on tops of these ridges. And I'm using one of the new brushes here and I don't I don't care for them as much as my old ones. They're not chiseled. But we'll make it work, won't we? Maybe a little bit out like that. Just a little. Just a little. And you don't need much water. I mean, I put like a touch. Like, or a touch is not a good explanation, is it? Uh, like a, like a drop. Like literally, if you just kind of touch the brush in there, like two hairs touched, that's what I put. Probably should have some crimson in that. That's nothing look horrible. And I'm kind of regretting. I'm using one of my good Sunbelt canvases, which are my favorite to do this. And I probably won't keep the painting. <laughs> so I may have to... Maybe I can use water to wipe this off. Maybe. I don't know. Somebody tell me. A little brighter right back in there. Good thing is it seems like it would be hard in a first time, but it seems like it would be hard to make mud as easy. I don't know if that made any sense, but it seems to work a little nicer for not wanting to mush together. Let's push some water line and see if we can make that happen. I'm going to go take a little water. So it's a little thinner than just the titanium white. Again, thinking back to like a magic white, a, a liquid white. Let's put a little bit of a water line back in there. Now that's acting a little different because it's, again, it's not blending. It will still work. I almost got a crooked one. I have a big tree over on this side, it won't matter. 
like a little bit of movement in my water. Don't get on to me for my water line. Or do. It won't really hurt my feelings. The only thing bad thing about Sunbelt canvases, especially the smaller ones when you're using them, there is a noticeable bump here on the frame. No middle frame though, so that's good. See, it just wasn't, I don't think it was thin enough. But, oh, it just looks odd, I'm gonna fix that. Go back into it, make it a little thinner. Push this one in there, that looks a little better. Yeah, that'll, that'll work. I don't know if y'all see that or not. Can even kind of let that kind of come on out a little bit there. I'm happier with that. And I think, did I just cut the canvas? I think I just cut the canvas. Let's hide it with paint. All right. Well, that doesn't look half bad. What time are we at here? Well, that doesn't look half bad. 26 minutes. Again, it's a tiny painting. 12 to 16. So, I'm going to try to clean this brush. Again, this is an old one that I had really clean. All the thinner was out of it. Again, so it's not quite, I guess, what I would want to use if I was using this all the time. But it's an old one I was going to throw away. I'm going to put it in the in the water. And just kind of clean it out. You see how nasty that water got. It's just like thinner. And I'll wipe it on a... On a wet wipe. Or a paper towel. Whatever, whatever you have. I've got wet wipes laying there. Kind of clean, clean it with the wet wipe, probably. Breaking all the rules here. That's probably clean enough. You beat the devil out of this to your heart's content because it's not going to bother you. Uh, there's no paint there to splash back in your face. Again, I don't know about the um, safety of the paint, so that's something to consider. I'm going to make up an oil color that's going to be dark. Pretty much all the color I got left. Crimson and blue. So make a really dark color that we can paint some trees with. And then we will highlight those suckers. It'll make a grape. I don't feel like getting any more paint out. So we'll just use what we got out. That should work fine. All right. Good and thick. I really do like that. Loaded up, chiseled edge, just like we normally would. Um, one thing we can think about is, well, we'll put a couple trees and we'll figure that out. I really like both of these hills, but we're gonna lose some of it. We're gonna put some trees right through it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, nice foothill. You've been a you've been a friend of mine. Let's just make a kind of a sparse tree. A little slower. Be a little more deliberate with it. You may do better trees when you go fast. Sometimes I have to remind myself to slow down. Now, here's where I would always scrape that back off if I was painting, especially in a class, I'd say, to scrape that off, you're not going to see it behind that tree, but I'm going to try to leave it. It is kind of picking up a little bit of that looser paint, but I don't think it'll be an issue. I can always put a drop of water. You know, that's something when you're painting with the traditional oil paint, you would just put you a drop of oil paint on, or paint thinner, sorry, on there, and that would take care of that issue. Oh, I'm spending so much time on these trees. If I want to, I guess. There. And what I plan to do down here is actually 
you ain't gonna see the bottom of the tree. There's gonna be a little, at least one little island. I may take it all the way across. I don't know. Smear that paint in there. Hopefully to push that mountain back a little bit. So if you're watching, make sure you want to paint with the legend Dee Ross. I'm gonna get off this topic a minute. Just do a little self-promotion and Steve promotions when we'll call it. Go to Steve Ross Art dot com and you can sign up for a class. You can come and paint with Steve and me. And I promise you I'll paint something better the day that I paint than this. And we'll use traditional oil paints. And paint thinner. Just not much. There. That tree's not bad. I gotta go grab as my uh, script liner I use for acrylics. That's what I use for, for water. Uh, let's do just three trees. and We'll just kind of let the lake kind of go out right there. What do you think? Another another buddy there. I'm gonna try to save just a. I want to save a little peak of that. I don't. I want to kill it all. Oh. Making little noises, kind of fun. And then I can let this tree get a little bigger and bigger. Sorry. They keep telling me to pin that thing down when I paint. Doesn't get on my nerves until I start doing a video. Yeah. And then this, we need three trees. We can't have two. But this one, this one had a little spat with the other two. And then he moved over here to this side of the island. And he's a little smaller. Just a tiny bit smaller. He's going to be kind of sparser. He doesn't have those friends. If you know anything about trees, they'll take care of each other. So, this one's going to have to get back closer and grow a buddy. Very sparse. I always get them a little thick at the bottom. You don't have to. And you put a trunk in there. I don't want that grow just to kind of end of the land there. Maybe he's up on a little bit of a hill there. Yeah. That will work. That will work. See a little spot I don't like. This little guy. I don't mind having wild, wild ones every now and then, but that was a little too wild. Too wild of a branch. You can always go back touch up anything you need to on these trees all right oh sorry i'm trying to get better at that now since i'm using one fan brush i'm going to have to clean this one again in my milk of magnesia not milk of magnesia the water with that any white in it i'm just going to get some of that water on there and then i'm going to wipe this on my baby wipe just let that come out. Hopefully. I'm hoping this is easier to clean up all together. Like if you get it on your clothes. I don't know. It's fun to try something new even though it looks like it's old, right? Maybe this is essentially a painting I've done before. The mountain is the only thing I don't really care for. The rest of it's turned out fun. And I wish I could have done better on the cloud they don't look horrible looks like there's some movement up in the sky I had a little titanium white which I had to keep getting some more out always run out I don't know if you can hear my dog snoring behind me she's just snoozing All right. 
I want a little more blue in this than, than purple for the highlight. There. Yeah, still going to turn purple. I don't know, I'm not going to get any more paint out, but I was painting this. I'd make sure these trees were blue, a blue snow. And I'm using water just to thin that down. Nothing, nothing magic here you're missing. I'm sorry. But you can't see my palette. Maybe one day. Just thinning the colors down. So like I normally would with liquid white if I needed to. If the paint was too thick, it wouldn't stick to the trees. And I, I know it won't. So I thinned it with a little bit of water. And we can, we can just kind of put a little highlight here or there on these guys. Letting it creep out. I like this. I'm going to get me some brushes I can use just for this this oil paint. It's water pa water based oil paint. And honestly, I mean as far as the look goes, the, the color and everything, just a few little tweaks here or there would probably be just fine. Very good for somebody that's sensitive to the, the solvents, even the the safer ones. You know, some people are just sensitive to that stuff. And I, w I would imagine the paints would be different, even though they're still oil paints. It's it's not quite oil paint. I don't know. I need somebody smarter than me to answer these questions. Or I could read. That takes work, though. Bouncing a little bit of a highlight on there. I don't want to put much. Especially right here because I'm going to lose that because of that foothill. Bad paint planning, Bram. Put a little bit in there. There we go. Let's go back to our, our mixture here. Oh, liquid white consistency. No, no, sorry, don't do that. Not liquid white consistency. Just a loose paint that will stick. Yep, just kind of something like this. So it's a little brighter than tree. You don't want to use the same color. You could put a little tint of... Here, we'll do it. See if this will show up. Could put a little tint of the crimson down here. Wish I'd done that to start with. Well, you'll see it on this one. Too worried about anything here. A little bit back there. Almost got it too crimsony. <laughs> yeah, I got it too crimsony. Hold on. I can fix that. You may not like you may not see any problem with it, and there probably isn't. Especially since oop. Took the microphone on a spin there, guys. Sorry, I whacked it. Godzilla did not attack just now. It was my hand hitting the microphone. Let's go kind of push up on these. On this grass here. Push up grass looks better than what a lot of people call tappy grass. It's a little more natural to me. So I don't have to do it all. All that way. Ooh, it's gonna be cold down in here. Yeah. Maybe a touch more. Right, right, right there. Yeah, that looks cold. Cold, cold, cold. Okay, so I grabbed me a script liner brush. To have and hold. Alright, I'm going to get me some... Kind of the dark color. I think I'll just do dark ones. I want some little stick trees down here. No, let's do... 
You gotta have something to show up. Guess what I'm using to thin with? Not paint thinner. Water. You probably caught on but caught on to that by now. Let's see if I can work this thing. This is I've never used this one. This is an acrylic brush. Yeah, need more water. Need more paint or more water. Or both. Well, that little stick looks pretty good. It needs some substance to it though. A little something hanging off of it. This little script water I think has two hairs. You don't see that? I mean it works. It doesn't work it like I'm used to. Actually, I mean, it does a fine line. This would be... might be nice in this. It's nice in anything, really. If you want a fine line on these sticks. That looks good. Good little stick tree. You know me, I always like to have a little stick tree. Not a bad color. What if we just had some grass in here just kind of sticking up? Go crazy with grass. Does that really matter? Oh, look at that. That was a mistake. Or maybe it just did a happy accident. Just put a little stick tree there. They give me five little trees that'll make me happier. Maybe this is it was just not going to turn out great. We're gonna we're gonna corral it. Don't worry. There. Maybe something off of it. Maybe just kind of there. Mush it into the setting. I don't hate that. I think that's enough, though, guys. Uh, could always do this. Throw a little, just take a little water and kind of pull some of that black paint out and make some little sticky things coming out of your trees. That's nice little details. You'll see them up here. Yeah, a little bit. Well, this paint still makes them all my nose run. Like one time I was painting on here. I don't know if you guys saw the comment. I might have deleted it. And that guy's got a nose candy problem. <laughs> My nose is running. If I don't, but I found it funny. All right. Shoot this wherever. Yeah, I'm just placing some color. Around this canvas. And what happens, happens, right? That doesn't look bad, guys. Again, it's, it, I don't really see much difference. Besides the fact that I'm not having to use paint thinner. And that's probably enough difference for a lot of people to make the change. Just kind of sign her down here. I don't know. I may keep it just as my first... My first... Attempt at water mixable oil. You should try it. Give it a go. See how it works for you. I uh, forget how expensive they were. I don't. I mean, they're 200 milliliter tubes. Look on Jerry's. Um, Artorama is probably the cheapest place to get them. That's where I got them. But they work fine. I mean, really, can you can you see a difference? I really can't see a difference at all here. Um, so it looks good. The only thing that I noticed, one thing, is, is the reflection's a little different. And that could just be I didn't have enough of my homemade medium down there. But it could also be um, that it just works a little different, but I doubt that. It's probably me. And then also, I just could not get that, that fine. I don't know if I didn't have my paint thin enough, most likely. You get a really nice waterline. That kind of looks like a waterline, but it's not perfect. And 
the biggest thing I need is more brushes and I'm willing to put water in. I wasn't willing to put <laughs> put many out here tonight with water in them that I have to use for glasses and, and paintings where I'm actually using oil paint. So there it is. Let's, let's pause this thing and move the camera and get a straight on shot of it close up. There it is, guys. Again, if you can, grab you some, try it. It seems to work just as well. It seems to work just as well, and it's probably a lot safer for you. So, I mean, you can still you can still see, sorry, my fingers going to come in here. You can still see the snow breaks. You can highlight it. Uh, it, it did move around pretty good. I probably need to work on my mixture for my medium so it stays a little wetter, but try it out. Let me know how it works. I will see you guys in a few days, probably try to do one on the weekend with the um, the acrylic underpainting one that I posted before this one. I really got some good ideas for that one. But we'll use traditional oil paint. All right, everybody stay warm, stay safe, stay well, and I will see you in a few days. Take care, my friends.